one of the key poses of this channel is to cure the disease of unhappiness of humanity a lot of us are really not happy and we are chasing things that will make us happy later our lives in their totality are not happy right now everything is posted to sometime later and we are posting these things on an event that is going to occur in our lives which we are putting all our energy or sometimes half our energy to make this event happen and when they happen we say we will be very very happy we do a lot of things for the future we hardly ever do anything for now we are always posting our fulfillment we are always posting our joy some of us even say that we are sacrificing now for later see to sacrifice now for later means that you are killing your happiness today you are killing your essence right now so that a mirage something that is unreal might manifest the future is unreal you cannot post your today in the interest of tomorrow it is the same way of saying that we will suffer on earth so that when we die, we have a beautiful paradise or heaven to go to. There is no such thing. Because if you are not in heaven right now, you will die and not find heaven. If you are not happy today, if you are not fulfilled today, there is nothing tomorrow that will make you fulfilled because your moment, this very time, this hour, this minute, is the seed of your tomorrow a happy person today a fulfilled person today a grateful person today will be the one that owns tomorrow in fulfillment so we are getting the arithmetic of life wrong we think that when we get something that thing will make us happy nothing makes a human being happy the only happiness that is genuine, that is true, that is long-lasting, is the inner happiness. It is the happiness of being, not the happiness of doing, not the happiness of having. It is not even the happiness of expecting. Because by expectation, you set yourself up for disappointment or maybe fulfillment. But if you are looking at your fulfillment as a future thing, you are ruining your entire pleasure. You are ruining your bliss. There is no law that favors tomorrow bringing happiness because today is what makes tomorrow. So what you are today is what you will be tomorrow. It's not going to change. It's world without end. It's been said that the child is the father of the man. Today is the father, the mother of tomorrow. So, this is how it is. If you really, really want to re-engineer your life, you want to make it something that you will be happy to experience, something that will be worth the while, something that will not be part of the human problem, something that will be a tonic for the few humanities who are looking for purpose in their lives, then I will say to you, my friend, stay happy right now. Let me explain what it's like. Somebody says, oh, how can I be happy when I don't have all the things I am looking for? The first thing is this. The things you are looking for do not exist. You are what you are looking for. When you fall in love with yourself, when you are fulfilled with what, even no matter how small it is that you have right now, every other thing will fall into place. That's what it is. Happiness is a magnet for life. The purpose of life is happiness. I've told you before that when you are happy, you are being human. That is the reality. The purpose for which your life was designed is for you to have pleasure. Life is pleasure. Death is suffering. When you are posting your now for a tomorrow, you are posting your humanity for an indefinite point in the future and it doesn't exist. So, the illusion of tomorrow, of the future, is what is actually battering our bliss. There is no tomorrow. What there is, is now. And again, there is no past.
there is no yesterday. You might say, oh, I was in yesterday. When you were in yesterday, what was it? It was now. Now, now, now is what you have. Your power as a human being is present in the now. It is not in the past. But when you travel to the past and bring it to the present and bring the memories of events of the past to the present, you are disabling your present and reliving and perpetuating your past. You might say, okay, what I'm doing is that I had a very glorious past. So I'm going back to bring it. That is okay. It's a, it's a better form of evil because you are choosing positive memories from your past. But when you do that, what you have done in this context is that you have disabled what is happening today. The possibilities that are inherent in the now, you have damned it. All of your forces are ready in the now. When you go to the past, you shut them out of your realities. When you go to the future, you postpone them. You tell them to hold on till then. And there is never something like that. One thing about human beings is that the human mind, which controls activities in this space that we occupy, is a creature of habits. When the human being becomes used to posting happiness and hoping that later I will be happy now, no problem. Later I'll be happy now. Let me just suffer. Let me just endure. When that becomes a regularity, it becomes a program. Your mind begins to work in that area that you have chosen not to be happy today. You have chosen for things not to work well for you now. You are putting everything to the future. And for the mind, the mind does not know the future. What the mind knows is that you are saying no to things right now. Whatever good that life has to offer, you are saying no to it now. Okay, that's what you are doing. You are postponing, you are, you are pushing it. When tomorrow comes, it will still be the future. That tomorrow will not be the future. There will be future in advance. That's how it keeps going. So, if you really are interested in being fulfilled, in having that great life, have it now. Don't wait till tomorrow. Have it now. The wise say that if you can summon the emotion that having the things you most desire can bring you when you have them, then you can have them. First, it is energy. Don't forget the order of creation. Emanation, followed by creation, followed by formation, and then finally talk about action. For all of these things to work, you have to first of all be in a state. The state that causes all things is where you need to be at. And what is that state? It's the state of joy. And if you cannot be joyful, I was telling somebody some years ago that you don't have to have money. You don't have to have the things you think make life count for you to be happy. What makes life count is your being alive. You are the ingredients. You are the core ingredients that make life count for you. If you can be in yourself and accept yourself as you are right now, if you can accept your moment and not be griping, and not be grudging, and not be critical, condemnatory of your present, it will clasp to you. And you'll be surprised that there are things in the moment that are so great that you cannot see. A lot of the time, the things that make us unhappy are the tiny, infinitesimal focal points of our lives that are not turning out the way we want. That's what makes us unhappy. Meanwhile, there are vast other aspects of our life that are great. They are just marvelous. But we don't see them. You know, when a finger has taken a cut, you become aware of that spot of the finger because an injury has happened there. And you are saying, oh, I have a pain here. You are putting your attention in it. When somebody wants to come into contact with you, you protect that place. That is the same thing we do. When something in our lives are not working, we focus all our attention on that thing. If we're only focusing the attention on that thing on the, from the perspective of let it work, it would have been okay, it would have been solved. But we are focusing attention on that thing from the perspective of it is not working. Why me? You know, we are looking at it from the wrong perspective. We are looking at it from the validating perspective. And so that thing gets worse. Sometimes we are asking, why is it like this? We are trying to seek historical analogy. You know, we are looking for similarities. In other things, we are looking for the causative factor. Not because we want to take out the causative factor, but we want to justify why it is happening. And then, as a result of that, it keeps happening. It keeps worsening. Things, good or bad, we are meant to come to pass for other new things to come into place. 
But now, when you are focusing your attention on that little cut on your finger, and that is where all your woes are now coming from. Meanwhile, you forgot that that spot that is cut is hardly 0.001% of your entirety that is healthy. But you leave those ones out and you focus on the parts that is injured. This is the story of our humanity. We are mostly ungrateful, non-appreciative, and negatively charged. To get away from there is to say, whether I have anything or not, whether I have the things that I consider make life tick and lovely, I choose to be happy. If you are not happy right now, do me a favor. Stand in front of a mirror. Smile. The first four attempts will not be meaningful. They will be wry. They will, be, they will just be ugly. But keep doing it. Keep doing it with a commitment to really smile from your belly. You will be surprised at the tenth attempt. You will feel some movement from the beat of your stomach. You will see your eyes light up like a bulb. You are smiling. Do you know why it happens? It is because happiness is innate in you. It's inside of you. All you need to do is to activate it and wake it up. It's not in tomorrow. Let me tell you, you will say, oh, if I have this thing, if I have this guy, if I have this babe, if I have this car, if I I'll be happy. They will bring exhilaration for that moment. You'll be excited. Yes, but that's not happiness because they soon fade. Matter is no long lasting. Matter fades as it is born. It's going out. But you see, you are perpetual. You are self-renewing. In the same way, your happiness is self-renewing. If you allow your happiness to have its way. What it therefore means is that the things you focus your attention on will begin to change. Because when you embrace happiness, your attention will be landing on the things that make you happy. That is how life swings. My friend, what more can I say? I am Osezwa Anthony Elimihe. You know me, I am in the game of helping you grow from inside out. That is the drill. Again, we have spoken powerful one and I hope that you've heard. And if you've heard, hold on to this simple truth that your life is happening before you right now. Lock into it. And there's no way your life will happen in a negative way. It is always positive. But you see, when you allow the external occurrences, all the charges from the world, the actions of people, the actions of society and community to affect you, to affect your attention and drag it away, it will take you away from your moment, which is where your life is happening. And you'll be in the past, in the purported future, where the actions of society are happening. The society is a past tense and also projecting to the future. The society is never this moment. That is why whatever people are suffering, it's the past and or the future. They never really happen or they have happened. That's the source of suffering. But there is nothing now that gives you suffering. That's why we say stay in the now and you find bliss. What are the things? Anything that is happening in front of you right now is in the past. Now, when you anticipate consequences of what is happening in front of you right now or has not happened in front of you right now, you are looking at the future. But talking about now, what is happening now is bliss. But connect with it and you find out that your life is transformed. To transform your life, you don't need to go out. You don't need to go out there to look for transformers. No, it is inside. The transformer is in you. The life is in you. You are the life. You carry the transformer. Focus your attention on transformation. Choose happiness. Choose it mentally. Choose it using affirmations. Choose it using contemplation. And if you understand what I'm talking about, watch my video on dissonance. You understand what contemplation does for you. So, my friend, that is it. Until I come your way again next time, please stay one, be united. Connect with the cosmic, with the supernatural, with the God mentality, with the God intention, with the God opinion about you. There is nothing broken you. There is nothing wrong about you. You are powerful and you are in the swing of your life. Just dive into it. Don't think that you want to wait for it. No. Dive into it right now. 
to receive the result. It is a beauty. What belongs to you is not going to come. It is in you. It's already here. What belongs to you is not lost in the past. It's with you right now. Thank you.